Which spinal injury is most likely if a patient cannot feel or move their legs, but they can move their arms? This is a little bit challenging. We got A, central cord syndrome, B, brown cord syndrome, C, cauda equina syndrome, and D, anterior cord syndrome. Now, the reason this is challenging is these emergencies are not commonly discussed. Central cord syndrome is damage to the center, obviously, of that spinal cord, and it occurs from hyperextension. Now, with central cord syndrome, the patient has more loss of sensation in their arms than they do in their legs. So obviously, we can go ahead and rule out central cord syndrome. B, Brown's cord syndrome. I always tell students, this is the stroke of spinal cord injuries. So it's hemisection. It's on one side. If the patient has paralysis on one side of their body, yeah, that's a Brown's cord. Obviously, we can rule this out. Where it gets tricky is between C and D. What I always tell students is whenever you hear the word cauda equina, think equestrian, like a horse, right? So saddle injury means that the patient has paresthesia and they have weakness inside of their thighs, their legs. But understand that cauda equina could be asymmetrical, which means this test question might have to be D. And D, anterior cord syndrome, is a flexion injury. This causes paralysis below the level of injury and making it the best choice here. Anterior cord syndrome is going to be this answer.